Hey, y'all. How are you? Let me get some social stuff going on here. Give me a second. You know what I mean? I've got to go and make sure everything's working right. It has been a day. We ain't even through it. Granted, my day started 5.30 this morning. We live. There we are. Let's get you muted. All right. Okay, guys. So, gave you a few minutes. I've got my social rocking for a moment. I'm actually going to go ahead and share out the stream. I figured out that we've got to do a few things to keep everything working with this um, software, which is no big deal. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day it has been. It started out this morning with you know, me very muchly. Um, talking with Mambo Knight, and then we had to talk with her complex that she lives in. Apparently, they need to be reminded what human decency is, and they got to see the other side of ASIN. And then we went into looking at classes and getting ready for my weekend plan and changing that all around in the fun, fun way we do. Um... For those that may not have seen it yet, I'm going to be hosting a lot of things here live. Um, my plan is for Saturday to be um, to teach a Tarot 101 class. If you're interested in that, the link is somewhere in my post feed. Go ahead and click that over. That originally was going to be closed off to just be for my students had already enrolled on Terra 101 and it was their makeup day to kind of catch their classes. However, what this is going to allow is for those that haven't even took my Terra class, if you want to take it, it's going to be available on video anywhere in the world. It's in a Facebook group. If you're watching this and you can interact with me here, you'll be able to interact there. Next one is Sunday. I'm doing an introduction to candle magic class. Um, that'll also be live. That was originally planned for Earth Magic. We've moved it, of course, online for the uh, safety of everyone, um, especially with like a ton of things closing, a ton of things that you know we're being told don't gather in groups, and that's fine by me. Um, you know, so you guys are going to be able to see some things. You guys are going to be able to do some things that maybe wasn't originally planned. But I've learned to basically put my wetsuit on and just go and be with it. Um, and, you know, keep the bubble tight and just kind of flow one thing after another. Um, I know we keep getting into this um, position or this moment when it's just like the next thing. What's the next thing? What's the next thing? You know, and, you know, we, if you have members of your community that are seniors, that are in facilities, take time with them. Um, check in on them. Sit down and have real conversations. Make sure that, you know, some of the services they count on are being substituted or something else um, will be going on. Now, originally we had planned to do an Astara Friday night. Um, at the Crystal Lotus, this didn't even make it off the drawing board. Um, we immediately began making decisions and choices not to hold it. I'm actually decided I'm going to do one online. It's going to be very much a sit down ritual. You don't need anything extra to attend, but that'll be Friday around 6 p.m. Mountain Bears is going to be at 9. Unfortunately, you're going to have to fix your own feast. Because if you don't know, when you come to ritual, we always do a potluck. We can't do that right now. So that's, you know, one thing we're working on. I've decided to forget it. I'm going to live stream that um, for you all, for us as a community. I think we need to start forming backup community, online community, so that you can be a part of things. If you're in here, 
chitter chat, talk. I'll throw up some message. You know, I'll have no problem throwing cards for anybody that wants them or anything like that. Um, hey, Devon Lynn, how are you? Yeah, apparently our software isn't playing again. Hello, baby doll. How are you? How's my lady Rebecca? Mm. Nice to see you. Love your new picture. You look, I hope you're doing well. Hello, Hope. How are you, hon? Are you in my inbox? Because if you are, I'll get to you today. I promise you. Um, for those just joining, today has been a whirlwind from about 5.30 this morning on. Um, and we're rushing some things out. Um, I had not planned on doing online classes yet. But we are rushing them out. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? Um, so Saturday, as you see up on the thing, is the Terror 101. Rebecca's took the course before. She it's it's something that she's very well of. I am doing fairly well. I go into executive mode very quickly, easy, and it's like you're going to do what I say, and we're moving forward. Um. So yeah, I do very well in these situations. I think that's a lot of my nurses training. Um, to catch up and to be up and to be with it. So that allows me to kind of keep everything in line and just roll with it. I've had my staff, they're wonderful supports. Um, you guys in, or see out in the public, you see Joe. Joe's amazing. You know, I can say four words to him and he'll write me a three-page email. Um, or he does graphics and stuff like that. Um, he's been awesome. He's going to be in class being your voice a lot of times unless I can figure out how to get you guys up. Yeah. Very much so. If you are in the tarot group, you are welcome to pop in, join us for the online class, most definitely. And if you aren't, message me and I'll put you in there. Yes, you can pop into it. You can take it to full courses if you never had it again, because I'm going to teach it that way. So definitely, yes, pop in. You're more than welcome for the class. And that's any of my classes. If you see me teaching that class again, and you want to come take that class, bring your materials and come sit in. I have always been a component of that. Um, it's like these classes that are doing video. They will stay in the groups. They will be sitting there indefinitely. So if you, you know, if you want to come join us on video, come join us. If you want to take it as a refresher, come take it as a refresher. Um, come along. So there's this one, and let me flip up the ad for the other one. And this will be our chalkboard. The one the, where you're seeing the ad ad is actually me. Um, there we go. Playing with my own my software is what we're going to use as the online um, the online class. Um, so definitely come in, come join. Um, I don't understand why it hasn't flipped yet. Let me. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, the Sunday class hasn't been taught at all. That is a brand new class. Nobody has taken it. It literally. There we go. Apparently, there may be a delay on my side. Um, nobody has taken that class yet, um, but definitely, if you want to take it, there's a post on the event page. There's posters for my things. That is through Earth Magic. I want to give them a shout out and CLS, both of them. I have never in my life had such easy time going, you know, I want to do something different because we have to at this time. Mo and Jason and Shauna um, and Frank have been majorly supportive. Go get it. Go do it. Go do whatever you need. Whatever we need to make this happen, let's keep moving. Um, go ahead and reach out to them if you need supplies. Um, if you need other things, definitely them. I know CLS is taking today to deal with personal matters. Probably getting things in order. Um, Earth Magic, I do believe, is open. I know Jason is at the helm taking care of some stuff. So definitely pop in there. 
Um, for my tarot class, you have to have a deck of tarot. I don't care what deck you have. I prefer a Rider Waite based deck because it's easier for you. But we will work with whatever deck you got. For the Candle Magic class, you need a candle. And if you got some oils and some herbs, great. If not, that'll be okay too. Um, the Candle Magic class does give everyone $5 credit because we had planned on providing those supplies for you all. But, you know, FedEx delivery ain't that quick. Okay. And it's still ain't here. All right. All right. So, how are y'all doing? What's been your funnest thing so far? Catching up on movies, spending time with your loved ones in your house. What's your bright spots out of today? Hmm? My bright spot today was actually making breakfast. You know how often that I will not consciously cook what think what I'm cooking, I'm just throwing food together. That was my bright spot. I made a meatloaf omelet. We had some meatloaf left over from two nights ago. And I have this rule. If it's in my fridge for more than three days, it's getting ate on the third day or going in the trash. Um, so I made a, an omelet with chopped that meatloaf up, threw it in the skillet, threw six eggs in on it, fried it up real nice, threw some cheese on it, fed me and Joe. Oh... I'm going to go, Devon Lynn. Um, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I'm sorry. Is working on a baby blanket for her granddaughter who will be born in the summer. That's awesome. Brenda is taking time to read and craft, which is awesome. These are all cool things to do. So I kind of want to talk about something. And I've been seeing a lot of it on Facebook. Um, and that is this, a lot of anxiety um, going on. And a lot of empaths are getting affected by it. And everyone's saying, oh, just bubble up, bubble up. Time right now ain't for, ain't for a nice big bubble. Some empaths need to pull that in. And as you pull it in, think of it as a wetsuit. And just have it slide over you as tight as a wet suit is. You know, glove up all the way across your face. And just pull that energy real tight. And then mirrorize it. Rebecca says nothing's really changed for her. Except she's not going out and teaching yoga. No, but you could do some yoga live fees, my lady. I'm sure people would be interested in doing that. You got a cell phone. Make Kevin hold it and you could do, like, do some live streaming. I think that would be so cool to do. You may even get Papa to join you in on that if you do it early enough. So, I think that would be awesome to see. I might even try some of your chair yoga because I hear that's a little intensive. I want to give a shout out to Stephanie Lanham. She has been she's offering free discovery calls um, for her health coaching program. I listen to her. I will be doing one of her assessments on her discovery calls. Um, we'll be getting that scheduled sometime next week. Um, granted, we're not quitting a few things, but you know, I'll give her my bylines, and you know, she'll have to work on my diet because. I don't know. If I can't pronounce it, I don't like eating it. And granted, I can pronounce a lot of things. Shiitake mushrooms. Um, you know, but things are going, going to be okay. We're going to get through this. West Virginia has gotten through worse. 
Come on, guys. We're used to being home. We're used to being home for months. Back in 97, I remember we were home without power. For like two weeks. We're living in a lab of luxury considered to them because we still have heat. We have television, we have Facebook, we have internet. A lot of us are seeing what I've been telling businesses to do for years, which is to move your work staff home um, and let them be at home um, because it boosts productivity. And I hope the numbers rectify that later. Um, so here's a rundown of everything that's going to be going on from now until Sunday at current plans. So, today is Thursday. Friday, midday, I'm going to stop in for coffee, and I'm also going to do your energy overviews. That's the one that I do by the astrological sign, pull three cards for it. That'll be mid-afternoon. Then around 6, 6.30, um, I am going to do a online Astara ritual free to charge, hop into the live stream. Um, if you want to come up and assist with it, great. If not, that's okay. I'm used to running ritual alone. The 9 p.m. Mountain Bears is going online, and we're going to talk for about two hours about all that's been going on. Then bright and early at 1230 Saturday, the tarot course will be going live in the tarot group. Um, and with that, we will be, you know, I will going to do lesson one, take a 30 minute break, come back, do lesson two, take a 30 minute break, three, four, it's going to go all the way to eight o'clock Saturday night. So if you've took the class, hop in, those classes will be there indefinitely in the groups. Then Sunday at 12 o'clock, we're going to hop on and I'm going to do introduction to candle magic. That is a new class. I haven't offered it. I literally designed this class over a course of six to eight weeks, trying to throw everything that goes into candle magic. It's a lot more than taking the sacred bick and lighting the candle. Um, and that's going to be from one to three. If we have to go later, I will go later because we're going to make sure everyone gets that one. If you want that class, either see my post and click the link and get or get a hold of Earth Magic. And then Monday, of course, is going to be uh, normal. Sit down and chat with you guys. And we'll be looking and seeing what the calendar looks like then. So you guys should be getting a lot of content. A lot of content that I'm hoping you guys are enjoying. I really enjoy chatting with you guys. You know what I've been missing? I used to be part of this Yahoo chat group. Night after night after night. Inside into a live chat we were and this is back during pure text chat. No video We had voice we could not do video because at this time the internet couldn't handle video upload um, It will take you a day to download a video I've been really missing that I never thought I would but you know these past few days. It's been like god. I wish we had a chat room So we may have to work that up All right, so I'm going to go take a nap. Um, I'm going to let you guys get back to your working on your blanket and reading and Rebecca storming up on ideas that she needs to be doing. And I'll see you guys later. It's been great chatting with you. Who knows, I might check in later tonight, especially if it gets too quiet around here. Okay? Bye, y'all.